Hello humanity, my name is Ukulele. Today I wanted to play Risk and I plan to play just a normal game against computers. Try to just have the opportunity to talk more. I feel like that's a little bit easier in this. I'll set it to medium, fog of war on, blizzards on. Blizzards just make, uh, like, for example, this territory here would make it so it's impassable. You can't go through that at all or own it. They can be good or bad, depending on the situation, but you have to work around it. Uh, card bonus fixed. We don't want to have it be increasing. Basically what that would do is, um, so normally you can get like the 1, 3, and 5 uh, soldiers, like units, on the cards. It'll show, like when you take a territory you get a card, but uh, they have, gosh, the cat's being crazy. Um, what was I saying? Right, so they have a, a different unit on each of the cards, like one of those three. And if you get one of each, you get ten. If you get three of the cannons, I think they are, then it's eight, six, and four for the other two. So this would make it so instead of giving you the set amount, the fixed amount, you could randomly get like 30 and 40 and it progressively gets higher as you go along so all right cool Tony Storm Rad Risuku and Beverly Cortez sounds good to me as you can see I uh, changed things a little bit um, as far as strategy goes these three are the best territories to claim, either North America, South America, or Africa, depending on what you want to do with your strategy. Oh wow, they went straight for here. I try to get mine all in the same area if I can, because it makes it a lot easier to defend your territory that way. But sometimes your luck isn't that good, you never know. Uh, so the blizzards are here and one over there. That'll make it this area a little bit easier for them to defend. But ultimately it's not going to be that much of a factor. I've had a couple different games where one of them, the th there was a blizzard here and a blizzard here. So it made North America really easy to control. Like to maintain. Because all you had to do was just defend this one area. But... Okay, we're already on to distributing. I'm a little bit distractible. Okay. I'll put five there. Actually, seven there, just so we can be sure to maintain this. That'll be good. And the other benefit is I can just do that and skip the AI turn. Because that is one unfortunate thing. If you're playing against um, actual players, sometimes they'll take forever to take their turn. Unfortunately, sometimes I feel like they're doing it intentionally, which sucks. Uh, that's a lot of people there. Why not? We'll go for it. Huh. Pretty good uh, turn. I'm actually going to move all of these guys here. Oh, no, no, no. I can do this here. There we go. I already have one territory, so this gives me a territory bonus of like three different guys. Three extra people, I think. 
Um, should I focus on America or here? Well, America's the easier one to control, like to maintain control of. Okay. Hmm. No, wait. I always try to start with the higher place because otherwise it's just going to be a pain because if you lose more here then it's less likely that you'll defeat that other place. And I don't dare attack that one currently with a 7 and an 8 there. So, yeah. Honestly, Risk has always been one of my favorite games. I played Lord of the Rings Risk a lot as a kid. It's definitely a time investment normally. Like, you can pretty much plan for it taking like, I don't know, three hours to run a full game. Yeah, we'll just put the bare minimum there for safety. Yeah, these guys came back in there. That's fine for now. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Hmm. Africa's a little bit tricky to maintain. There's just more places that they can attack you from. Okay. Okay, so we're getting the three horses, so we get six right now. Oh, cavalry. Well, that's fine. Anyway. Hmm. I might as well stick with getting Africa first. Okay. I don't want to scatter my troops too much. I tend to try to keep things pretty balanced. If you spread yourself out too much, then it's way harder to defend yourself. There's a time when being a more aggressive of an approach is better, but overall I tend to prefer to be more calculated and cautious. I'm gonna keep seven here. Hmm. Actually. Okay. Oh, I got through here. I must have drawn that card. Yep, Brazil. Oh no, that's not Brazil, that's something else. Anyway. Yeah, slow and steady. That's my approach. There we go. It is annoying if they attack there, but it's not the biggest deal to me. Oh, I guess they're not going to. Hmm. If I was playing hard mode against computers that are higher setting, then they definitely would have attacked me there already. But I'm not concerned at the moment. There we go. Okay, so we know purple doesn't have all of Europe, so we don't need to worry about that one right now. Let's go there next. And leave seven there. Okay, cool. I didn't lose anybody there either. That's really good. Nice. Now I have already half the map at this point. As long as I maintain these, I'll pretty much win the next round. Well, not the next round, but I'm pretty much assured victory at this point. Mm, okay. No. I don't know why it glitches like that occasionally. Oh well.
I don't know if it's my... I don't know why. I just try to normally keep them about the same amount. Perfectionism or something, I don't know. We'll put 12 there. And 12 there. Actually, we might as well just put all those there. Okay. Oh, okay. And we'll move this one out one. This way, no matter what happens, they're not going to be able to- There might only be one orange left. Anyway. But this way, if I claim this one and this one, no one can completely control all of Asia or all of Europe. It's very annoying when other people do it, but it's the best strategy. One of the best. Okay, come on. Okay. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to take over all of it yet. Oh well. I can at least see 91% chance it tells me. Wow, that's messed up. Whatever. Anyway. At least now no one else can take him out. I'll be able to get him the next round. I'll put him there, actually. And they're too weak right now to do much at that spot. Hmm. Yeah, they must have only that spot. Okay. Kind of what I expected. But unfortunately, they're only delaying the inevitable. They're going to lose either way. Nice. Another good thing is when you take someone out officially, you get all of the cards, like the territory cards. Yep. So sometimes if you have enough, it'll immediately give you more people, it'll make you use them, and then you get to go again. But... I think that's a good spot to end my turn on this round. Perfect. So now it's just us three. We'll go here. Let's take out all of purple next. Okay, cool. Nice. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. You never know. The good thing about attacking there is you can see if there are other ones there. And there are not, so... I should be fine. You may think it's unwise that I didn't leave anybody there, but... Once I fortify, I can put them right back there, so... They won't be able to pass me anyway. Nice. Okay. We'll put them all right there. You shall not pass, sir. Huh, he actually managed to get one of my people. Not bad. I guess he concentrated all his troops to there. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough for him, though. At this point, my victory is assured. <laughs> Conquering the world one step at a time. Nice. He loved to see that. The victory. Hang on, I have to check something. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave the episode here. 
if you want me to play more of Risk or if there's any other games that you'd like to see me play that are uh, anything that I've uh, played before currently I don't have tons of money to buy more games but uh, if there's something specific you want me to play let me know thanks for joining me and if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe I'll see you all again soon